One man has now been arrested after confessing to starting the fire that destroyed the God of No Limits Church in southwest Oklahoma City last week. Ashley Moss is joining us here in studio with a surprising detail that helped break this case. Ashley. Well, Kevin, we met the lead pastor this afternoon and he said police recovered surveillance video from the building and that helped put all those pieces together. But imagine his surprise as he reviewed the footage with them and realized the suspect was a man the church has been helping on and off for years. I could see the flames and that's when it really my heart just began to break. Days after Pastor Marty watched the church go up in flames. Uh, we're coming back. We're for sure coming back. He's looking on the bright side. Honestly, it needs a redesign um, so we can do more of what we're doing. The building is a total loss, but they're not moving away. And in the meantime, the good work won't stop. Every Tuesday and Thursday and Sunday for the past eight years, we have fed the neighbors around here. We didn't skip a beat. We, we had service Sunday, and it was a good service. But on news of the arrest... That's the hard part. He knows the accused arsonist. We fed him many, many times. He never caused any issues, but we know that lately his mental state was very bad. I don't hold any grudge against him. Court documents say Oscar Ronaldo Gomez was caught on video buying a lighter before riding a bike to the church, breaking in, lighting the inside ablaze. Days later, Gomez spoke with federal agents and admitted to setting the fire. He now faces one count of arson. If I could speak to him face to face, I would just simply tell him that we forgive him. And if we can't do that, then we're not really doing the job we're supposed to. Today, the rubble that remains is enough to take your breath away. People have really rallied. And uh, that's that's Oklahoma for you, though. The worker had is daunting, the pastor says. It's overwhelming at times, but uh, I'm ready to see what's next. They'll need a lot of help to rebuild. Fire refines. You could say we're going to come out of this and uh, it's going to be better. We're not giving up on this. Now, Pastor Marty said the church needs about six figures to rebuild and insurance won't completely cover demolition and construction costs. Of course, we've got more of this story on our website, including a way for you to help. All right, Ashley.